everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And we just stayed at Encore for the past two nights and we want to tell you about our experience here. It's one of our favorite hotels on this end of the strip and we can't wait to share our hits and misses with you. Let's go. All right, so Encore is the sister property to the Wynn, which is one of the best resorts in all of Las Vegas and our personal favorite. Yes. Some of you may think that we're gonna be overly critical about this property, but it's only because it is fighting for being one of the top five hotels in all of Las Vegas. Yes. Um, it is at the very north end of the Strip. It is between Wynn and Resorts World. Across the street from us is pretty much a vacant lot. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We did stay here during a Thursday and a Friday night, so we were able to get a little bit of the midweek and a little bit of the weekend crowds. Starting from the check-in process, the lobby is, it's very it's understated, but beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's not like the over the top, but that's the kind of thing that you get from the Wynn properties. Um, it's very pretty, very meticulous, but it's not something that is super showy. No, but it's so like, it's fancy, but comforting. It's kind of like that, oh. Yeah. Look how nice this is. And we got in on a Thursday night around 7, 8 o'clock, and there was zero line. Yeah. So we got straight up there. Um, we did ask for an upgrade, and the guy was able to elevate us to the 58th floor and ask us what kind of view we would like. And so we asked for the strip and golf course view. We actually really love the golf yes, course view. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And we were able to see the new M MSG Sphere or the Death Star. Um, <laughs> still under construction right now, but yeah. we had a great view. I think it was kind of best of both worlds. I agree, and I didn't even notice it the night we checked in until the next morning when it's daylight, and I was like, oh, you can see the sunrise and you strip. It was really a perfect view. Starting off with the room, I think that this is one of the best um, basic level rooms you can get in all of Las Vegas. I agree, I love it. It's so spacious, mm -hmm. and I just love the setup of the where the bed is and then the kind of separating wall, even though it's not really a whole wall. And there is high ceilings. There yeah. is a TV in that separation area that does turn so it can face either the living room setup or the bedroom setup. The level of amenities is amazing. Um, it is like the best glassware I've seen in a room. The The bathroom products are very good. Um, our, our one hang up was we felt like the shower head was a little bit narrow. So it, and it, and it didn't have a ton of water pressure. It had some, yeah. but it wasn't perfect. Yeah. Um, which if you're trying to fight to be top five, I think that's where you're nitpicking. I agree. Now on that other note though, the bathtub, oh, it's spacious. It's great. It's nice and deep. It is very cool bathtub for this. Like I, Josh said, a basic, basic room. Yeah. Um, it is an all suite property. So that's why you're going to see that it is very large yes. still. Um, there's plenty of outlets everywhere. There is an Alexa that um, does help you run the shears, the drapes, the lights when she wants when to. She wants to. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually like to use her for uh, music in the room yeah. at all times. The living room setup is very nice. It does have an L-shaped couch and it feels like you're in a separate area. It really does. Yeah. The other thing I really enjoy about this room the mirrors. There are mirrors from floor to ceiling on one whole wall and then another one on, near the door as you're getting ready to go out. Mm -hmm. I love that because you do not have to fight for trying to figure out what you look like before you head out. There are mirrors all over this place. Yep. All right, casino floor. This is definitely going to be one <laughs> of the areas that we are going to ding. Um, the casino floor is small. It is small. Um, it is probably one of the smaller ones for like the major resorts here in Las Vegas. We feel like we cannot just stay there all day. No. Yeah, and that's and that's one of the areas. Like, now you can walk over to the wind from here, and there is a nice walkway. It's beautiful, but it is yeah. a five to seven minute walk for any normal person. Yeah. Um, so that part is tough. They do have a ver decent variety of games, you know, old and new. Yeah. Um, and high denomination and penny slots. Yep. But it it really is a bit tight. There is a poker room on the side. There is yeah. a sports betting area, which is, it seems like a, I don't know, it it just seems like a weak sports book to me. Yeah, um, I, I don't know much about sports book, and especially now with all the online stuff, I'm surprised that they still have them out. But <laughs> there is a, that area. 
There is a variety of table games. Um, when and Encore typically are at the highest end of the spectrum, so we didn't play them. Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw the smallest denomination I saw was $25 a bet, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, as far as dining goes, we've found some hidden misses here. Mm -hmm. um, there is a variety of different places. There is a cafe that you can get your coffee and, and stuff in the morning. I think there's gelato shop in there. There is a Italian restaurant, Sinatra. There is a Mexican restaurant, Casa Playa. There is a Asian restaurant, Wazuzu. Wazuzu is kind of in that mid-tier. Casa Playa and Sinatra are aiming for those high-end crowds. Yep. Um, we've had mixed results at at all of them, all of them. Mm -hmm. and but we've heard some very good things from other people so you can try your luck at those but the tough thing is um, outside of those there is Jardine um, yes. which we actually which did we, enjoy for yeah, breakfast that was really good and uh, it has a really cool view of the pool it there. does it does um, but otherwise it, it's not gonna be one of those properties that you're gonna come here for a week you're gonna eat here for a week yeah um, you know this isn't Caesars Palace this is not MGM where they've got like 20 different places for you to go to and a wide variety of prices. Right. There is some, it's just not a lot. Again, if you wanna go to a different variety of stuff, you can go over to Wynn. Wynn does have the buffet, Wynn does have multiple breakfast and cheaper options. It does have a wide variety of expensive options as well. Yes. Um, but it, it really is feeling like one of those properties where it's an offshoot and it's, it's not enough on its own. As a standalone company, like you do have to go over. If you're enjoying this video and you wanna see more hotel reviews and, and Las Vegas restaurant reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have over 125 restaurant reviews in Las Vegas alone. All right, as far as the pool goes, it seems like an afterthought. It does seem like an afterthought. And really we're here in mid-February. We didn't have an option to, or we didn't have an opportunity to try it out. It is closed. It's closed, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I believe, because staying at Encore, you get an option to go to the wind pool, and we really enjoyed the wind pool. We do. Um, you know, it's still, it's one of those things. Do you want to walk, walk 10, 15 there. minutes to get to a pool mm -hmm. um, when you're already in your bathing suit, you know, before or after the pool, yeah. it gets a little bit awkward walking through the casino, or two casino floors and a long hallway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the wind pool is amazing. Yeah, we the really Encore pool it. is one round oval. Yeah. And I mean, if you're not looking for much, it probably is a great option. If, if you're into the mm -hmm. day partying, uh, they do have a day club here. That's what I was gonna say too. There might, Encore, that might be the other yeah, place. Yeah, the day club, it is just off of the uh, casino floor. So everything is very close. That, yep. that is one of the benefits of this area is that you can get to anything with minimal steps, honestly. Yes. Um, we're not day club people. <laughs> But if we were, it'd be nice that's right here. That's true. We did go to the gym today. Uh, and the gym, you are not allowed to photograph in there, so I'm not gonna be able to show you it. It's but, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. It is a, there's 15 to 20 treadmills, there's five bikes, there's five ellipticals, there's a bunch of weights. weight machines, there mm -hmm. are free weights. So there's a lot of stuff there. There are two attendants that were in there. They're handing out waters, they're handing out towels. towels. So it, it's exactly what you expect, which is a, a nice, nice gym. And what I was thinking when I walked in was it's kind of that solitude of what you can feel you're in the salon area as well um, at Encore, but it is just so peaceful. The other piece in that gym that I noticed, there's a juice bar. Yes, so I, I did So we didn't that. try anything, but there was a juice bar, so you have that option as well. For the nightlife, it is, like we said, it's smaller. Yep. Um, there are several bars, but they're all like right off of the casino floor, so they kind of provide a lot of the same experience. Although, this is the first time that we realized there is dueling pianos. Yes, and we uh, love dueling yes. pianos. <laughs> and so I, I kind of feel bad that like we've stayed here before, we've stayed at Wynn a couple times, and we did not realize it mm -hmm. because that's kind of our vibe. Yes. Um, we would rather have the bar scene than the club scene. Yeah. Um, and sometimes even, even the lounges are a little bit slow yeah yeah a little too slow and you're spending 20 to 25 dollars a drink a lot of times at these places so you want to have some entertainment and so that's where like the dueling pianos did seem great and that actually felt like a little bit of a game changer when we did see that yeah and the other piece i was kind of surprised at you know a lot of these lobby bars have the poker games or the video poker um, in the bars themselves so you can kind of get drinks. These did not. They're truly right. a bar setting where you go up, sit at the bar, and have a drink. Yeah, so if you're sitting there, you are not working your comps to get nope. those free drinks or anything. You're paying <laughs> you're for You're paying for it. Overall vibe, I think it all, um, 
in the mornings it's pretty slow mm -hmm. it's really kind of a pathway to get to win <laughs> but it's wonderful it like, is I it, love it's it's a very here. yeah mm -hmm. the morning gambling here is actually very enjoyable yes you know because they do uh they do the coffee in the glass Glasses. mugs mm -hmm. which is some of the best coffee you're gonna get um mm -hmm. for for gambling <laughs> it really is but at night it does get on friday night it did seem very party-ish um, i was shocked and yeah I mean, not in a bad way. It was just like, wow, compared yeah. to Thursday night. Because Thursday night, we were just like, okay, you can tell that people are here, but it wasn't overall loud. It wasn't... Yeah, it's still not loud. a very loud mm -hmm. um, area, but it does it does have some nice high energy. Um, but it's just, it's a smaller crowd. Yep. There is a show between Win and Encore, and it's called Awakening. And if you haven't seen it yet, we, we loved it. We really enjoyed it. We um, watched it when it first opened back in November. Can't speak enough of it. Uh, for me, Awakening, I thought it was very good. I know some people are like harsh on it because they're saying that the storyline isn't great. It was great. What's the storyline of these Cirque shows that we go to? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm okay with there not being like the, the most like amazing heart-wrenching storyline. It is amazing costumes and it is amazing technical pieces yeah. like the stage is amazing and i felt there was a storyline so i well, i don't think there, that was too there is a storyline i think people are nitpicky that's my person <laughs> I so like, i would I say go it. to it one standout for sure is the quality of the customer service at win and encore is mm -hmm. on, at a next level from it, the time you get out of the vehicle like it yes. is truly next level people are very very nice and welcoming you always feel that they're putting you first as the customer. The grounds are immaculate. The property is well kept. Mm -hmm. um, like there, it's, you really do have to nitpick to start picking things apart. And like we said, the room is one of the best rooms that we've stayed in for a basic, non extra, extra higher end suite. Um, we have not stayed at Venetian or Palazzo, so that would be one that yep. um, we would still need to stay at to really compare, but you know, Comparing it to a Cosmo, comparing it to an Aria, Bellagio, even Wynn. This room is better than the Wynn basic room, I would say. I would have to agree with that. And I think the other standout is the location. There is a CVS close. You can go get um, supplies for stuff. You, If you want more food options, you're not far from Resorts World. Um, for those of you who like classic Vegas, Pepper Mill is really close and within walking distance. Mm -hmm. There are so many options. And it's close to Convention yeah. Center too if you're if you're doing that. Outside of just the wind. You don't have to just stay here, which is kind of nice. The downside of being at this location is there's not a lot of places that are like super close. Right. You know, you have to walk to wind to get to the Venetian Palazzo as well as um, the Fashion Show Mall which if you need to do some shopping, you actually got to get over to Wynn and then do the bridge. To the north, there there is not a lot other than Resorts World. Right. Um, you know, you could do Tacos El Gordo, you could do Pepper Mill, but then like you run out of restaurants on the cheap side and you end up over in rest, Resorts World. Um, I think you're still a little too far away to be walking consistently to like a Sahara or the, or the Strat. Right, but we took an Uber to Sahara and it was less than $15. Yeah. So. So you can get to them. Um, I What I like about it is that um, when you're staying at the north, mid, or south end, you really get a different experience. You and do. you know, when we're here at this area, we, we typically go between Wynn Encore and Venetian Palazzo. Mm -hmm. And so it's all your higher end cl classical type places. Yeah. Um, very beautiful. Resorts World as well. Yeah. Um, all of them very nice. Whereas, like when we stay more mid strip or south end, you're you're gonna run into those your your flamingo, your Harrah's, your um, Excalibur, Excalibur, Luxor, um, yeah. which are fun, but they're also just a different experience. And we actually we enjoy staying at both, and so we do encourage that. We hope this helps you make your decision on whether you want to stay at Encore next time. We hope you're enjoying our videos. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.